Welcome to the Boating News Show. In this episode, we reveal the winner of the amazing Elliot Brown RNLI Edition watch from last month, the winner also of the children's drawing competition, and we check out the latest news from the world of boating. Not only that, we also check out some great accessories for your boat. Firstly, a shout out to our partners for this video, Land Rover UK. When it comes to towing, you can't go wrong with the latest generation Defender and Discovery. These machines are towing beasts and are PBR's choice vehicle for our boating transport and on the road requirements. So let's get this month's boating news show underway and get going. So to start this month's boating news show off, we've learned that Premier Marinas have announced that Chichester Marinas annual boat show will return on the 26th and 27th of June this summer. Exhibitors will include Ancaster International Boat Sales, Black Rock Yachting, Boat Shop and RBS Marine. Paul Cook, the marina manager, said this year's show will be a celebratory occasion showcasing our on-site marina businesses that they'll still have various precautions in place to ensure visitors have the opportunity to view the boats they want to see in a safe and relaxed environment. In conjunction with the disposal expert Ramora UK, Premier Marinas will also be holding two flare disposal days on the 13th and 26th of June. This is a chance for boat owners to bring along uh, of out-of-date flares and have them checked and disposed of safely, which can be a real pain. So this is a really useful thing that they're putting on. Moving on to an awesome machine, I want to highlight a wicked new boat. If you like performance craft, maybe something with a racing hull, then you're sure to fall in love with iron boats. Iron are designed in partnership with Oki Manafelt, the world famous naval architect. Now, I've worked with Oki on performance projects and I can tell you that his fine eye is meticulous. On a race deck of a craft I was in a conversation with him about, there was a tiny windscreen, uh, say about one or two inches high from the deck to protect the driver within the cockpit. He told me to get that removed quickly so that uh, it wouldn't slow me down because it was costing me about one or two miles an hour. So a master of speed and performance he sure is. Back to the new Iron 827. It's their latest craft from the Swedish boat builder run by brothers Lars and Henrik Peterson. The interior of the 827 is spacious with a sports center console design giving a full walk around style deck. The colors are limited to white, gray and black. The brothers have commented that the boat was created in a design that they kind of wanted to buy themselves. They've marketed it as a GT with sports looks, very capable but still comfortable and that the 827 would enable them as a business to compete with larger high-end performance craft. If you'd like to know more information about iron then visit ironboats.se and I'm sure you'll see things that you like there. Now Mercury Marine have launched the all-new V12 600 horsepower Monster Verado. It broke the internet a couple of weeks ago so you may have already seen it but when launched, this engine is important as it redefines outboard performance. This engine represents also the most powerful and capable outboard from Mercury to date. Not only this, but the technology includes several industry first features and those that are now missing maybe seven marine after the Volvo Penta uh, purchase change direction uh, with their business model, uh, there's now a new a big outboard to drool over. So let's take a look at a couple of the features in a little bit more detail. First off, it's the world's first V12 outboard. The 600 horsepower Verado engine features a naturally aspirated large displacement quad cam powerhead that generates impressive torque to get heavy boats out of the hole and onto the plane quickly and to accelerate up to decent speeds as fast as possible. Secondly, this mega powerhouse features an industry first steerable gear case, which pivots independently underwater while the engine's powerhead remains in a 
space saving fixed position, although it does take some getting used to, to look at the stern and see uh, the boat banking over and the engines uh, in a central position. Well, this provides more room for multi-engine configurations and a wider steering angle for agile handling. With help of uh, counter-rotating props, it also has a better bite in the water for docking and uh, other close quarter maneuvering. Several enhanced Mercury technologies in the engine's ECU and computers that run the mechanical components uh, work in conjunction to enable the V12 outboard to deliver also good fuel economy and range for its size. It's clear that Brunswick Group, that own Mercury, are investing in new technology and are making a real effort to push advancements forward. This is clear by the fact that Mercury have invested one and a half billion in R&D and expansion since 2008. Now, we've been invited to test the engines in Europe as soon as possible, and we're really excited to get behind the throttles and uh, really test this machine. And you can be sure that I'm gonna be bringing the camera along for the ride. For me personally, I can't wait to see what Mercury Racing's division has in store once they've breathed over the Leisure Sisters uh, technology. Up next, we want to showcase a very cool new product. Over the last few years, with the advancement in electronic propulsion, you may have seen electric surfboards slash sort of uh, wakeboards on social media, and they look pretty cool. However, Australian brand Flightboard take things to a whole new level. They build electric hydrofoils, and they're pretty awesome. An electric powered hydrofoil promises to give you the sensation of flying over the water, and Flightboard uh, gives riders the freedom to ride anywhere without wind or waves. The boards being electric are emission free, they're pretty silent as well, and wake free. The new boards are made of premium materials and hover approximately about 70 centimeters above the water with their speed controlled by a handheld Bluetooth remote. The marine battery gives you also a pretty good battery time of around about 90 minutes running. The Series 2 of these boards offer improved performance across the range from beginner friendliness and stability to a more advanced machine that gives a great performance for that more agile thrill seeker. I've got a board coming in a few weeks to test and we'll be taking her out across summer on some of our adventures. We'll film putting it through its paces and uh, see if I fall flat on my face or actually get up and enjoy the thing. For more information, please visit flightboard.com. Now last month, we ran a competition to win this fantastic Elliot Brown watch. It's an r &I Canford Special Edition timepiece. We put the different entries into our randomizer and we are pleased to announce that the winner this month is Jack Bywater. Congratulations, Jack. Please email me at social at powerboatandrib.com to claim this fantastic watch and we will get it sent out to you. But that's not all. We ran a competition last month also, not only for the adults to win this great watch, but also for kids too. Kids had to draw a boating memory or design, etc., of maybe their favorite craft or a family boating trip to win some PBR merch. The kids to win this time round are brothers Jules, age five, and Hurley, age nine. Well done, boys. Your pictures of boating with dolphins and fishing with your dad were awesome. You're the lucky winners, and we will be in contact to organize some cool kids' boating gear that fit you. Next up on this month's boating news show, we're going to take a look at a cool brand called Railblazer. Now, Railblazer began its life as a mounting system for holding things to the back of a quad bike. Once the initial concept was developed, it was realised that the system had merits in the marine industry, and they've really taken off now, being sold in over 50 countries. So what are the components around the brand? Well, mainly, it's based around this starport which can be surface mounted and has quite a low profile. Mounting to the starport are a range of accessories that mount to the base, such as this rod holder. And they have a different range of uh, options as well. As you can kind of see in this brochure here, there's, there's lots and lots of different things from a clamp style mounting to USB powered flush mounted units. Then simply choose your accessory you want from maybe a fish rod holder, an iPad holder, a GoPro, boom pole. 
To showcase these a little bit better, we're going to head over to Portsmouth, where Will Parkinson of Smart Fishing UK, a professional fisherman sponsored by SMG, the UK dealer for Railblazer, goes through how they use the product on board their boat. He's also joined by Peter Dudman, the European distributor. Hello, I'm Will from Smart Fishing UK, and you join us down here on a glorious day with Peter. We've brought you down um, to showcase some of the Railblazer products that we have on Smartfish, um, which, as you know, um, has some other um, products that SMG do. But we're going to go over some of the products that the, uh, that the Smartfish has got on board. Thanks, Peter. So here we are. We've got some of your new brand products on here. Um, can you just talk through some of what you've got and then afterwards we can go on board and have a look? I mean, specifically, um, I want to show you today the new products which we've just launched uh, into the UK. Um, that is the uh, gunnel tracks for, um, for medium sized, small medium sized boats and also the uh, tackle caddy which uh, by its name is like a storage system and also the track loader star ports which we'll demonstrate to you when we get on board the boat but that's the products that we want to feature. Super, okay yeah. let's jump on board and uh, have a look. Okay, so we're now down on the boat, um, and Peter's kindly going to go over some of the new products that we've uh, that we're going to showcase. Okay, before um, I mention the new products, I think we should just uh, have a quick run round Smartfish in terms of what standard products we currently have on the boat. So we uh, we have the standard starport, which is where um, the Railblazer really started in terms of its 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 formation. Uh, that's the standard starport. You've got the side port, which is um, for mounting onto vertical surfaces or horizontal surfaces. Then you've got the standard rail mount, um, which is uh, for 19 to 24 uh, diameter rails. Um, also, we have the larger rail mount for the big tubes, um, which um, is a new addition to Smartfish. We've, we've just done this because we felt that we wanted a bit more versatility in the boat. Um, and then we look at uh, the new products. Now, the new products, as I mentioned, um, are in essence the, the gunnel tracks, which you can see mounted onto the side combing here. Uh, very new product. This is the first boat, as far as I'm aware, in Europe with these tracks fitted. Um, they've been introduced really as a result of our um, product investigations, primarily in the USA on, on aluminium boats, but this is an ideal track system for small boats like Smartfish and other boats of, of, of a similar ilk. And to go along with that, we have introduced what we call the track loaders, which come in two types. You have the side, side port, uh, sorry, star port um, track loader, uh, which is a standard star port but mounted so it can move up and down on the tracks like this into any position you want. Then you have the side port which is this model again you can just position it anywhere you like on, on, on the boat on the track the other and most important new product is the tackle caddy uh, which you can see mounted here on the track or other track so it allows you to it allows a fisherman to keep everything he needs in this in a, in a very convenient place whether it be lures whether it be his mobile phone whether it be whatever i mean it, it, it's a storage system which uh well, one thing we've noticed, Peter, with this, and it's really good, it comes in the kit with, um, with, with some bungee. So not only when you put your, uh, I don't know if you can see this one, uh, but we'll showcase that in a minute. Um, if you put your products in it, you can also bungee them in. So when you're bouncing across the waves, heading out to that spot, um, you, your kit, your cup, your scissors, they just don't fall out. So that's a really nice little addition, that, that layer to them, Peter. The other thing I should mention uh, uh, we put on Smartfish is the electrical sockets for your USB uh, connection to your fish finder or to whatever. Um, an important part of, of any boat like this is to have electrical contact. So, And, and I'll just add a little bit if you're happy with that. Peter. Yeah, sure. We, um, we, with, with the uh, USB um, star ports, we get really good versatility out of that because we use that for, when we're doing a lot of filming, we can have our cameras constantly powered so you can just have a seamless, yeah. seamless field. Yeah. Uh, film so anyone that or any of the consumers that potentially want to purchase that it's a great way of selling it to them to say absolutely you can keep your cameras powered up um, or lights lights are another sure yeah i think i think what we're trying to demonstrate is that 
the product itself, Railblazer itself, is 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 a, a multifunction but versatile system, and and you know it, it it can be all things to all people, but it's so versatile, uh, and it, there's there's an application on any boat for a Railblazer piece of product. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be fishing. No. Um, and that's the, I think we've learned that uh, very quickly that for a lot of our other applications, whether it be on um, holding a fender, could be something as simple as a cup holder, um, even down to a mobile phone holder. You can literally plug anything in and we've learned that quite quickly that you can use it not just for fishing and having the rod holders and bits and bobs on there. Yeah. But yeah, great product. Thank you, Will and Peter for taking us through the products, which clearly are uh, a very useful bit of kit. And you can get these in the UK by SMG, a link I'll post in the description below. However, if you like the product, you're in luck as it's this month's prize. So to get yourself a star port and a fish rod holder, and not only that, also this bag, which is quite a handy bag, which they call a carry, wash and storage bag. All you need to do is like, comment and subscribe to this video. We think it's a great accessory to anyone's boat. In fact, we like them so much that we're actually going to try them out on our Axo Par. So, good luck to entering. Share with your friends and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our announcements on the winners. That's it for now. Thank you for all of your support on our channel. We have a very busy month ahead as we get out on to filming the Beyond the Horizon and resume our boat tests as well. We're looking forward to getting back out in the water, taking our cameras and getting filming again. So see you again soon and good luck with this month's competition on the Railblazer, Starport, the fish rod holder, the bag, and uh, also congratulations to the kids uh, that are winning some PBR kit and also on the Elliott watch. Many thanks.